Welcome to DWB Ayadda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello and welcome to this section. In this lesson, we'll be learning about KPIs and how they work around in Spotify. Why are KPIs important and what we can do with KPIs and their different options. So let's get right to it. Let's go to our typical Spotify. And over here, okay, let's delete this. Over here, when we click on our visualizations option and go down to our KPI charts, we get a bunch of uh, cards that pop up. And this is the first best guess that Spotify took. It took all the channels and their some unit costs and put them down on cards. So one very important thing that you need to learn about KPIs is that you can work around them very well. You can right click, go to the properties, or you have the option to go to the properties from here as well. So let's just go to the properties and you can go to the KPIs and you can go to the settings. After you do this, you can actually change all these settings and it's pretty useful because as you can see, you can open your data over here and maybe you want to pop up your profit and add price over here and you can change your data. You can also go to your colors and change the color. Maybe I don't want a blue color. Let's go for orange. I know it doesn't suit the audience pretty well, but here's an example. Okay. So when you close this and close this, as you can see in the background, you've got the sum of unit costs. You've got different values. And many of the times uh, we want the sum of different unit costs. So when you're working with KPI devices on your mobile, or you're a business analyst, you want these number of cards. For example, let's go up and look at our KPI chart option. You can also go to your details visualization and create other KPI charts. So for example, if I click down on anything, I can work around it as well. I can click on anything and it drill down to the KPI chart as well. So are there, there are a lot of different options that I can use. I can go and break this out. Of course, right now it's showing in X values because I've combined the unit cost and profit together. But of course, let's just cut it down and bring it down to the simple KPI and then create a detailed visualization. So let's go to our KPI. I want to create a details visualization for another KPI. Oh, sorry. Details visualization for another KPI. Let's cut this down. And over here, we've got the options. However, I don't need to change the properties. For this KPI, let's go to the settings. And instead of this, let's just add profit. Close. And as you can see, it shows us the different types of profit over here. And if I select, maybe I want to select the store values, it gives me the different profit in the store value itself. So as you can see, working with KPIs is very easy. And if you can share it to your server, you can even access it from your mobile devices, including iOS and Android. So I hope you've understood how to use KPIs and access them and also to access their properties as well. Thank you.